Welcome back, Travis and Decider Havoc here, and we are back playing a little Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. And this is literally about 15 seconds after I stopped recording the last episode because I am way too excited and I had to get to the moon and go do some exploring. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to go do. But I needed to make another one of those pedestals before um, I head back because I, I just want to set it up. So I should... Oh, I got to make another stone plate. That's what I got to make stone plate so if you guys missed last episode we had a very very productive episode yes yes we did it was awesome we finally got to the moon however i was only there for about 30 seconds when i realized that how long the episode had been going and i did not want to take it much longer we i don't know if that was english i did not want to spend too much time and make the episode too long so i came back and here we are but we're going right back right now yes we're going back and we are going to figure out our way around this moon. And hopefully, like I said, I re if I remember correctly, we can set waypoints and then the dungeons will be universal from, you know, uh, each one of the uh, planets and stuff like that. I believe that's how it works. So let me actually set a waypoint right here. Um, I guess we'll just kind of call this one like spawn-ish. Right? We'll do that. So it's spawn-ish, right? It's not really spawn, but it's not a portal. And yeah, so spawn-ish. So we're going to kind of cruise around. And I haven't been on the moon in a long time, so I don't remember what was actually here. Um, I do remember that the dungeons are like pretty noticeable holes in the ground. And if I remember... Uh, nope, that's just a cave. Ah, I got so excited. I was like, did we find one already? Um, lots of caves, actually. Is that a wither? Is that a wither skull? It is a wither skull. How did you get up here? That's hey, 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 back off. Uh, but I do believe there are villages on the moon too, if I remember correctly, with some crazy looking villagers. What is this? What is this? Fallen meteor. Oh, I think this gives us like meteoric iron or something like that. Yes. Oh, see, I remember some of this stuff. Oh, it's been such a long time though. But I would love to find a village. And I would also love to find a dungeon. I don't want to spend all day kind of flying around and doing that. But, you know, I do want to kind of share some of the stuff with you guys. And don't want to just, you know, run off and do... What is this? That's copper. I don't really need materials at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I do want to do some of this, you know, adventuring together with you. Because, like I said, it's been a long time. So, this is kind of new to me. And I want to share it with you guys as much as possible. And then if it starts to take too long, I can always cut away and go find the dungeons. But for the time being, we're just going to kind of scoot around. Oh, oh, that was just unloaded chunks. I thought, oh, that could be it. Okay. So let's, I hope we find a village. The villages, I think, are really fun. They're made out of a totally different material. But I remember they still had like farms and stuff on them. Although the farms just have like saplings. Is that, is this a dungeon? I remember they're not the most recognizable thing. No, it's not. It's just a cave. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. We have finally made it to the moon and we are that much closer to making it to Mercury and then get my Mercury ingot. And then yes, yeah, so much fun stuff. And then also I, I, I have not forgot the fact that I really want to get my draconic um, charm of dislocation, the enchanted one. And that means we've got to get to, I think it was Neptune. Oh, village. We found a village. Check these out. They're so cool. They're like these little domey guys. And it's funny because they don't actually have any glass. Like, if I remember, you can just go straight in them, right? Can't you? Yeah. And they're just the funniest looking aliens. And you can't trade with them or anything like that. They're just alien villagers. Oh, they're so cute. You're so cute, you guys. But, like, there's these walkways. But their walkways make no sense because the doors are, like, way up there. Unless you can, can't, I jump this. I can actually jump that high. So that's cool. But yeah, little villages. Apparently they grow wheat just like us. Hey, what was that I picked up? Oh, glowstone torch. Hey, that was very rude of you. I didn't do anything to you. There's a well, there's water. There is water on the moon. How did water get on the moon? And is there anything useful down here? I was curious. Whenever I see a well, I'm like, this would be a great place to put like a hidden block. But Okay, and how am I drowning if I'm wearing an oxygen mask? I'm drowning in water, yet I'm on a, you know, a hunk of rock that doesn't even have air on it. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. 
All right. Well, that's the village. I mean, there's really not too much exciting. Like I said, there's trees and stuff, which are really nice. When you do set up here, if I want to set up a base on the moon or something like that, um, I can use those to create oxygen and kind of seal off the area. But at this very moment, I'm not overly worried about that because, like I said, I can just warp back and forth using my uh, my portals. I just got I can't get too far away from the portal um, in case I start running out of oxygen. But I do have backups oxygen. And as you can see, my first tank is only about a third of the way down. So it looks like they're going to last a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to look around for um, a dungeon because this could take a while. And we haven't seen any yet. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a break right here. And I'm going to go hunting and searching for a dungeon. And when I find one, we will come back and we will go whoop up on like the dungeon boss guy. Because I believe that's actually an achievement that we have to accomplish. Um, out the airlock? What is that? Oh, airlock controller. I haven't made those yet. And then tier two rocket. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. So I have to hunt down one evolved and then I have to craft the tier two. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, so we do have to, I mean, obviously to get the schematic for the tier two rocket, we have to kill the boss. So yes, I'm gonna go hunt down a boss and when we find him, we will whoop up on him and then we will go and look into making our tier two rocket. Oh, another village. All right, so we will be back in just a little bit. Travelers, I absolutely love the moments. There's that village I was just looking at right as we were pulling away. I love when it's like moments later and then we're back. I believe I just found a dungeon because it looks like there's web down there, right? This is what we've been looking for. So let me go ahead and set a point here. So we're going to call this um, dungeon. I think that's a good name for it. Is that how you spell dungeon? I don't know. That seems weird to me. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to turn that on for all like the planets and stuff like that. So where are they all at? Oh, these are all the moons. Okay, oh, I guess I kind of need those too. But um, let's look for the planets. Pluto on. Neptune on. Uh, Uranus on. Saturn on. Uh, Jupiter on. Venus on. Mercury on. Where's Mars? Where is Mars? On. Moon's on. Good. Underdog last volume. Okay, cool. Except I didn't set it. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> dungeon. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell dungeon. That's that's bothering me right now. Uh, okay, so yeah. So, you know what? I'll do that later. Anyway, save. Dungeon. We've got it. We have our marker. Let us go do some boss killing right now. And get our tier 2 schematic. So we can continue our progress towards Mercury die um I'm, I'm debating if i should break the spawners or not i guess i can kind of collect some of these spawners that wouldn't be a bad idea there we go and you good oh well how did that happen do this is this like the other ones do they spawn after you break them is that what's going on oh you're fast why are you so fast oh 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 that's cool sorry chicken but it had to happen. Um, oh. Oh, got that a little bit laggy right there. Oh, my inventory is full. Get this stuff out of here. I need like a trash can or something. I'm just going to shift and walk away. Yeah, leave that stuff over there. Okay, cool. All right. We are making our way. We are making progress. We ho -ho. Uh, you guys stay over there. I don't need any John Cena's in my life. Hey! Y'all need to back off. I... Ah! John Cena! Okay, that wasn't that bad. He didn't actually do that much damage. Okay. Okay. I need to, like, kind of throw stuff in here. Let us... I can't get rid of stuff. Oh, this is so annoying. I got to turn off my item dislocator. That's just what's got to happen. Just too much junk. Okay. Let's throw all this stuff. I don't need you. I don't need seeds or bones or coal. I don't need the glowstone torches. I don't need regular torches. 
let's just let's get this all cleared out. I don't need a snowball. I don't need cheap loot bags. I wouldn't mind holding the heads though. I definitely keep the heads. I don't need any moon rock or uncommons or sulfur. There we go. Redstone screw. I don't need you. I don't need you. Good. Let's get my inventory cleaned up, nice and pretty. Um, I really don't even need that minute. Wow, that's a flies. That's funny because we're on the moon and there's no gravity. Awesome. All right. Um, is this is this the right way? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's more mobs spawning. It is okay. Oh my goodness. Back off. Y'all need to chill out. How can can I avoid you guys? Okay. I don't want any of that stuff. I just want to get. I think it's in this. I think it's this next room. It looks like. It is. Is this next room? Oh, sorry, bud. You don't stand much of a chance. Yeah. No, that wasn't gonna last very long. But I will gladly take your heart, please. Thank you. And I don't know what's up with these epic shader things. I remember them from immersive engineering, and I know they add like a skin or whatever to certain items. I don't really know what they're all about, but you seem to get them every time you kill a boss. So they should be kind of special, but I don't really care about them. All right, so we've got our key. Oh, look at our big key. Oh, oh, how we've been waiting for you for so long. NASA workbench tier two rocket. And a name tag just for fun. And some ender lilies and black lotus. I really don't need any of this. I like the unknown demos though. But other than that, I mean, I guess I can take you guys. Oh, I really don't need you and I don't need you. Um, Yeah, I don't need you. I don't need you. Just get all this stuff out of my inventory. Arrows, I don't need you. Okay, cool. So we've got our tier two rocket. So we are going to go ahead and head back and um, look into creating our tier two rocket as well as, you know what? I'm going to claim that zombie head. Oh, there's another one right there. I like the zombie heads because I know I need a lot of them from, well, not a lot, but I need it from time to time on, there's all that stuff I just threw away. Um, what the, oh, that was interesting. Um, for Ender IO, <clears throat> you know, I need zombie heads from time to time. So I do like to save them just in case I ever need them. So here we go and back out of the dungeon. And now we have it marked for future, um, planets and stuff like that which is outstanding and i'm like 2,000 blocks away from the portal so i'm gonna go ahead and head back as you can see i still got plenty of oxygen which is really really good and i this was a very safe and eventful trip oh i got one on the fly so we're gonna head back and we're gonna take a look at our tier two rocket as well as there's a couple more things i do want to go back and take a look at delta because like i said i don't want to skip over the achievements i really want to kind of do one grouping at a time but we all know how much I want to get that furnace done. And we know how much I want to finish up alpha. And the only way to do it was Galacticraft. And so, yeah. So anyways, we'll be back in just a moment when we get back to the overworld. And we can take a look at our tier two rocket. So we will be right back. All right, guys. So we're back in the overworld. And I just kind of cleaned out my inventory. But I did want to take a look at a couple things. First of all, I, like I mentioned, I always see these epic shader grab bags. And if you get a little right click, it's like shader sponsor. Right? And it's level epic. Can be applied to... And it's just like mine carts, balloons, revolvers, railgun, chemical thrower, and mining drill. I think it kind of changes the texture of those items. I'm really not sure what that's all about. But I, I hold on to them. I have never thrown them away. I do hold on to them. But I don't know if I'll ever have a use for them. But anyways. Um, yes, adding new schematic. Unlock schematic. Tier 2 rocket. So it looks like it's very similar. This time it is... 10 of the heavies and then it looks like there's three fins i think let's look at the actual recipe real quick and let's see if that's the case so tier two tier two rocket oh that's not the same metal oh that's different that's a booster Ooh, we got new stuff so the fins are the same those are the heavy metal ones yes that's that's simple and tier one rocket engines the same and the nose cone is the same okay but then we got heavy duty plates so that is our heavy duty plate Plus compressed meteoric iron. Ooh, hence this stuff. Okay, so we're going to need at least 10 ingots of this so we can make these because it looks like it's a one-to-one. -one. Yes, but everything else is the same. What about this tier booster? That's going to be some meteoric iron also, so we're going to need eight of those. And uh, two full fuel canisters. That's easy. And some yellow wool. Yeah, so this looks pretty simple, actually. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head back to the moon real quick. 
And I'm going to look for some more of this compressed meteoric or the, the, the meteoric iron and try to salvage up some of that. And um, yeah, and then when we get back, I will hopefully, well, you know what? I need to get those heavy plates started. So let's start those two. Let's, let's, I need to automate. That's what I need to do. I need to automate because what I need to do is I'm going to need three of these, right? Because I have a feeling, let's look at tier four real quick or two. Yeah, we'll look at tier five just for fun to see if that's how things work so on tier five rocket um okay this dude oh that looks kind of cool it uses this heavy duty plate as well and that one is with this tier four plate in that tier four is with tier three tier three is with tier two so we're gonna need a lot of this heavy duty plate so i'm gonna need to mass produce steel aluminum and bronze to make a whole bunch of those plates so I'll need at least three of those to then go to a compressor to start making the next one. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of these. Interesting. Well, I guess for the time being, at least I can get a lot of the stuff going while I'm over in um, getting that you know meteoric iron. So I can get some more steel from the chest over there, of course, because I don't have it in here. And uh, bronze, I just made up a whole bunch. No, that's brass. I need bronze. Why can't I? Spell? There we go. So that'll give me a whole bunch of those. So we'll be good there. And then I also needed aluminum, which I have 13, but I can make a whole bunch more. Yeah, so I'm going to get these all started. And we're going to get rocking and rolling on uh, making a whole bunch of those heavy plates for the future. And I'm going to look into, I'm not going to say I'm doing it in this episode, but uh, automating this whole... Um, compressed metal situation it seems like it's i'm going to need a lot um i because the tier 10 is going to need tier 9 tier 8 tier 7 tier 6 tier 5 tier 4 yeah we're probably going to need a lot more than i was really thinking of in the first place so that'll be something to look into um yeah doing a full automation with a whole bunch of those uh compressors i think those are compactors compressor what are you called compressor right yeah electric compressor so that'll be something to look into is making quite a few of those and kind of trying to automate a system for that because I think trying to do it manually the way I'm about to start doing these just isn't very reasonable and we want to be reasonable. We want to be as productive as possible, right? Yes. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get these started and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back and get some of that meteoric iron and like I set it back up just because it's so pretty. Um, and then we're going to look into, um, you know, rocking and rolling on that. So let's get our bronze stuff going, the steel get going. And yeah, we'll be back after I go get a good selection of meteoric iron. I think I might only need like 10, but I'm going to get a whole bunch because I'm going to need it for later plates. So we'll be right back. Guys, I think this is going to take a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I don't know what the exact time is, but <clears throat> hey, get back here. Uh, that is the first piece of meteoric iron I have found since I started hunting for it. And it's had to have been at least 20 or 30 minutes. So this might take a while. But like I said before, I think I only need like or 10 of them at least to start or whatever. So we won't need too many to get going. But I, I literally was flying around so long just trying to find some that I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. And so then I hopped online and was checking a couple of the forums and they said that uh, you can eventually get some of that, uh, meteoric iron from, <clears throat> I think they said an asteroid belt. I believe that's what it was or asteroids or something like that. And that is somewhere on the map. And let me get out of range real quick. I believe it's on, oh, you know, I might've changed my settings, uh, options, controls, and it's under galactic craft i gotta change it so i can bring my map up um map none let's change you to m okay let's see if that brings it up good okay yeah so there's like asteroid belts um that might be it is that an asteroid belt yeah so once i get my tier three rocket i can head out to the asteroids and stuff like that and then be able to go get the meteoric iron for the the rest of the ships a little bit easier but as it is right now, it looks like this is my only way to get it um, because we don't have equivalent exchange. And that's just a sad day because I have literally just been going back and forth. Like if you can see the map. Oh, no, not the map. This one. I've just been kind of 
Oh, I can't even. Just flying steadily all over the place, randomly changing directions, just constantly looking. And I am not finding any. It is kind of crazy how seemingly next to impossible it is to find this stuff. <sighs> but I'm going to keep looking. I am going to keep looking. So I'm going to head back out of my search. I just want to let you guys get a little bit of update. Not that it's only been like a split second for you guys, but what was that down there? Is that a... Oh, just got... Okay. It looked kind of different to me. But anyways, yeah. So I'm going to keep looking for this meteoric iron and we'll be back once we find it. Okay, guys. I am so upset with myself right now. <laughs> I thought, you know, okay. I knew we can get it from the, the, the moon or whatever, right? So I was like, but... I was going to look up and see like what are the things it was used for while I was flying around. And then I was like, okay. So I brought up the recipe and it was like, Hey, well there's a recipe follow meteor gives you meteoric iron. I did one click over and an induction smelter with some sky stone dust, which we have so much of can do it. Ah, it just frustrates me with my own self. So now I've got like 3000 blocks. I got to go back, but now I know we can go make some of the induction smelter really fast. So we're going to head home and make our own with some iron and some sky scone dust. So we will be back in just a moment and go make our own and get rocking and rolling on this tier two rocket. Just want to let you know, we'll be right back. All right, travelers. So we are back in the overworld and we are ready to make some up of this uh, meteoric iron up, but I ran into a slight problem. As you can see, I pulled out my nutrient distillation cow. So apparently I have finally ran out of the nutrient distillation that I had uh, made like towards the beginning of the series and it kind of put me in a bad way because well I can't access my inventory system right now to even get any of the materials out that I need now over here the vat already had some saved up power but it doesn't have a lot I guess I could pick it up because I've got the materials in it let me try that let me try hey don't break the wall man all right yeah, I was actually kind of surprised. It came up and I was like, I couldn't access my inventory panel. I was like, what? Oh, I can actually access it. Well, I can see my stuff. So that's good. At least I know what stuff I have. I just can't do anything with it. Um, <clears throat> let us, let's just put this guy right here. Let us do this. And can I put you right there? Yeah, there we go. You getting power? Yeah, you're getting power now. Cool. So I just need to grab some water as well as get this guy. He's, his ticks are almost down. He's about halfway. I've got a water source. Where is my water source? I've got it sitting next to a machine somewhere. I know I set it down somewhere. Oh yes, right here. There we go. So I can just take water out of here. Hey, there we go. And put you in there like that. There we go. And I should be able to make some up just because I already had like the ingredients brewing. Okay, not quite a full bucket yet. Not quite. There we go. But I'm like caught in a really weird way because, oh, cool. It just takes it out. I didn't know it did that. Hey, no, dump input tank. All right. I didn't realize I could right click it out of here. Jeez. Okay. So we're going to get this done. It's, it's going to happen. <laughs> I just need to get access to my inventory again. This is not a problem you run into with applied energistics. So this is something kind of new for me. So hopefully like four buckets will at least give me one bucket of nutrient distillation. 875. Is it, is it working on it? Are you working on it? Do I need more water? Maybe one more, one more will give it to me. There we go. Cool. So I've got that now. At least I can access my system. There we go. All right. I feel much better now. And then you should be about cooled down almost. It's okay. At least I have, I'm going to leave him sitting around. I'll probably put him in a little pin so he's close by. Because uh, my tank is still down below, but that's not going to help me. But anyways, yes. So I need, um, what is that stuff called? Uh, iron. Yes, I need iron. That's what that stuff's called. And then I also need to grab myself some of the sky stone right there. Now, it's 16 to 1, so that'll give me four, right? That'll give me four pieces of iron. That will give me 8, 12, 16. Let's do this real quick in my induction smelter. So you go in. 
Okay, so that's not nearly as fast as I thought it was going to be, but it's not, you know, insanely slow, I guess. Because all my upgrades are in this one, right? Yeah. Wow. Apparently, it just takes a while. Not a big deal, though. So we'll get a couple pieces of this meteoric iron, and I believe we just smelt it down, or we might have to turn it into dust. I'm not sure. I'm learning as I go, but at least I know I can produce it now, which is a really good thing. Because now I don't have to hunt it down. Because, oh my goodness, that was a long time trying to find that stuff. Um, let me th try throwing you in the pulverizer. Nope. So, just in here. And, aha! And there's those ingots. Cool. So, we've got some meteoric ingots. And, nope, that's where my heavy plates are, which I've got tons of now. And, oh, it's just one. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to leave that running. We are probably going to go ahead and head to Mars in the next episode because there is a few things that I kind of want to take a look back at. There's still stuff in like Gamma that I want to get done that I haven't finished up. And um, things like a food generator we could do now. I apparently unlocked that recently. And then the combustion engine just to get them out of the way. Let's check out this combustion engine real quick, shall we? This becomes uh, just, you know, getting stuff done. All right, so combustion engine, iron, chassis, two fluid tanks, two basic gears. I can do two basic gears, can't I? Yes. Okay, so there's you. These are, I hate when it does that. Um, this is tungsten with dark iron bars and glass. Okay, so let's grab some tungsten. Not tub. I still can't spell. Tungsten and dark iron bars we have and some glass. All right, and fortunately, it's right here. I don't have to run around anymore. I like having this right here. I don't know if it's necessarily the most useful place for it, but I like having it right here. All of the crystals work really well. Okay, that's all I need. I only need two. There we go. Oh, I got four. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, combustion. <clears throat> now we have those two tanks. I We got the electrical circuit. We should have everything. Maybe not a piston. We'll see. I do have a piston. Cool. So that should be an achievement. Uh, was there more to it? Oh, it just didn't ding a ling a ling for me. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So we got that loot chest there. And now logic pipes. We need basic logistic pipes, logistic power junction, and soldering station. Now, the, well, now you update. Um, this will be, I'm actually kind of cool about this. I don't know anything about this, so... Basic logistics pipes. This will be fun for me to kind of look into. I think I've made these before. Um, is there a different recipe? No. That I got. Um, I'm going to have to make some of these. And I'm pretty sure I already have one. But I can do it with a good gear. And the gear is just easier. Um, so let's make some of these. There we go. And one of these. Come on. Can't tell me I don't have diamonds. I know I got those. There we go. And I, th I think I have made these before. Uh, let me grab some gold real quick. And we can go make that gear. I'll make a couple of these gears up. Because heck, why not? And apparently, it's the combustion engine is updating again. So here's the system. I don't know if I ever showed you guys. What I was talking about, they pop up and just kind of sit there. Well, now the item collector pulls them back in. And so it just keeps forcing the issue. So... I like that setup. It's only set up for a two block radius, so it'll only pull from right there. So that works quite nicely, actually. I like it. All right, so basic logistics pipes. Got you, like so. Do I not have any redstone torches? I don't. Well, let's make a couple. And I'm going to need some sticks, which I have plenty of. There we go. Put those in the system. And now, there we go. So we've got those completed. Cool. Now, what was the other things that we needed? Uh, logistics power junction. See, this is going to, th this, I like coming across stuff like this because I have no idea what any of these things are. And so it's new, which means it's something I can look into and probably find try to find a use for. So, you know, the soldering station was one of them. And logistics power junction. There we go. Oh, you're simple. You're super simple. And soldering station. You are also super simple. So that should... Aha! So we've mission complete there. 
All right, and we will grab our loot chest here. And let's see what else. We've got uh, open the floodgates, three floodgates. I think we can do that. I think we could probably do that. I haven't made one in a really, really long time, but uh, let's see, the tank I'm gonna need to make. Two, three, and iron gears I have, iron I have, iron bars I should have, all that. So once those get back into the system, there we go. Just one. Probably could, yeah, because the tanks don't stack. But do you stack? Yeah, you do. And there we go. Oh my gosh, we are flying through these. I can't believe I kind of bypassed all these. And then this is the one I'm excited to get to, the endo quarry. The only problem is, I think this one is kind of intensive on the crafting. And for that reason, it might be a minute before we get to it. There's something I needed. Um, the quarry, two of the quarries, magic wood's easy, that's easy, that's easy. Diamond etched, ah, yes, the computer. I haven't made a computer yet. Let's make you, we might be able to do this. We might be able to make this ender quarry. Um, I need four of you, one, two, three, four. We're doing good things, doing good things. Um, What is that, is that a different, is that not what, is that burnt quartz? It is burnt quartz. Okay, let's get some quartz out. Q U A. There we go. And we'll just cook up some quartz real quick and make some burnt quartz. I think we've got plenty of it. And there we go. And I need to empty out my inventory. I need to get rid of this stuff. This is this is too clustered here. Don't need the dev nulls right now. Uh, don't need the soldering station. I am gonna look into those and kind of see what that's all about, but. I, at the moment, I don't really need them, and I'm the combustion generator, not really in my uh, I interest uh, right now. So, all right, so Ender Quarry, you are right there. So we were making you. I have everything for you now. All right, cool. So we've got that guy. Oh, I need you. Come back here, Diamond Etched. I need you back, Diamond Etched, because I'm gonna have to make you. And I think it was this diamond chipset so I need to grab that too <clears throat> ender quarry this will be nice for getting a, another steady flow of materials uh, ender thermic pump we've already made one I'm gonna have to pull out that to make another I don't think I made two of those let's see can I no okay what else do I need before I get into that um two quarries uh, we got plenty of that. We've got that. We've got that. We've got that. Quarries. Oh, okay. So we need a diamond chipset, a diamond paxel, two lumium gears, two mana infused gears. How do I get mana infused? I've got the the cow, so I might be able to put it in the smeltery, maybe? Yeah, there we go. I've got the mana infused or molten mithril. We have either one. And I can make those. Okay, what I'm going to do is, uh, to finish this up, because we're right past where I wanted to be, um, I'm going to finish this up, get all the materials together. We're going to make our ender quarry, and so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I think, I think, I think, I think we have everything we need now. Um, I haven't finished crafting at all, but I've got this. Uh, oh, no, you know what? <clears throat> I was just finishing up the energized water, and now we should have everything we need. Go in the system. Come on. Come on. Come on. Of course. It's always something. Um, We've got everything, though. So I'm going to slowly start putting these in and try again. Oh, good grief. I swear when it doesn't shift click, it's just so... Oh, you know what? I don't think I made that guy. That's actually what I think I forgot to make. I made the gunpowder for it, but I didn't make the actual crystal. Uh, do I have a lava bucket? I don't have a lava bucket. That would help. Um, where am I generating lava at right now? Oh, I don't think I am. Um, okay, so let's grab ourselves some yellowite or yellowium and a crucible like so and some cobble. There we go. We get the lava for the lava bucket, and then I'm pretty sure, but while we're getting this lava going, 
I will double check one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five that I need. Um, what was I thinking about? Oh yes, blaze rods. That I haven't really, yes, I only have one. I haven't found a way to produce those quickly. So maybe I'll just run to the end real quick and go get some blaze rods and then we should have everything we need to do this. So, um, nether. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got my blaze rods. It only took a quick second. But I did think about something that I could probably make some blaze seeds um, with. Okay, cool. We've got that now. Sweet. So we got what we need. Um, uh, blaze seeds. So I can make, um, you know, and I, I'm sure there's got to be a recipe, you know, doing that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, there's got to be. There's got to be. Um, and I can look that up in just a second. But there we go. Now we've got our lava crystal. Now we should be able to make our ender quarry. We have everything we need, right? So I've got you. So I need to make you. Ha ha ha. There we go. And I think I already have the one from earlier. Yep. There's you. Okay. And ender quarry. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to need all those gears. So lumium. I'm going to need all four of these gears. Good. And then Mithril or Mana Infused. I'm going to need all four of these gears. I'm going to need six Ferris. Um, did it call them Nickel Gears? No. ER. Oh, did I leave them over here? Or did I not get them yet? That could be very likely what I did. Haha, <laughs> there they are. Okay, cool. Got those. And then the Paxel, and we should be good. And I made a couple of those. Paxel, there they are. Boop, boop. And these are made here. Okay, so if I remember the recipe, it was that, like that, like, th like that, and like that. That was not the recipe, was it up here? What am I missing? What am I missing? Q U A R R Y. I am missing. Oh, the diamond chip set. That's what it was. There we go. And do I need another one of those? Do I have another one? Arr, I don't think I have another one. Diamond, I don't. Um, I think it's you and redstone, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Um, I don't know which one. I don't remember which one it was. If it was regular redstone or if it was a redstone block. We're gonna try both. So, diamond and redstone. Yes, there you are, go. There we go. How long is it going to take? Not too long, but, you know, it's going to take a second. It's a diamond chip set. Good to go. All right. So, we now have everything we need to make the other one. So, you go there. You go there. All right. So, we've got two of these, two of these. This guy, um, what was that? I needed magical wood. Ender quarry. It was magical wood. The infused, okay, so that, that, those, another diamond chip set. Okay, not a problem, we can do that. And let me get this junk out of here. Get away. All right, so, oh, diamond chip set and ender infused obsidian. All right, we'll just grab a stack of that. So we're gonna make our diamond chip set. <sighs> we're getting so close. I love, I just love progress. That's really what it comes down to. I really love progress. And, and I would call this some great progress that we're making right now. Um, we, we got to the moon. We got to the moon. We were able to go kill the freaking uh, evolved skeleton on the moon and knock him out. Now, next episode, we are probably going to head to uh, Mars. And what I'll actually do in the meantime is I will be taking that meteoric iron and I'm going to create a chain of these is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a whole bunch of electric compressors because if I had to make, make three electric compressors to make the steel, the aluminum and the bronze and have them pump into one, it'll make um, the heavy duty plates. Right. And then right next to the heavy duty plates, I can have my meteoric iron being made and then they'll go together into another compressor and they'll make my tier two. Then whatever material it is I need for tier three, I can put with the tier two and just start a chain of them. And that is the inevitable goal, but it's going to take some time to make all those electrical compressors. So I'm going to do all that off of camera. 
uh, just because, well, we don't need to grind that out. We've seen it, we've seen them all made and there's no reason to do it on camera. So we'll do that off camera. And this needs to hurry up and finish. I don't know how much power it's gonna take to make the quarry and I might need to actually bring a power source over, we'll see. All right, so you, 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 and, oh, I forgot the magical wood. I even said it and I forgot to grab it. Gosh darn it. Magical wood. There we go. Hey, come here. All right, cool. And we should have our ender quarry and then we can start playing with some of the upgrades for that and start creating an awesome quarry. Oh, there it is. Uh, that one's going to take a while, huh? Not, not too bad. All right, I'm going to pause right here just because I don't want to sit here for five minutes watching this little thing tick up. So I'm going to pause and we will be right back as soon as that ender quarry is done. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back and it's almost done and it does take a while. It's got to be a lot of juice to go into this thing. But if you hear something in the background, that's my windmill going. I did finally, where's it at? Uh, there you are. Ender quarry complete. Uh, they did finally run out of juice. So that's what it was. It was just a lot of energy in the pipes or whatever, but it was no big deal. I hooked up my uh, solar panel and my windmill or wind generator, whatever it's called. Yeah, wind generator. And it's working flawlessly. These are all filled right back up. It didn't take long to fill up the system, so that's awesome. So I got some use of my passive energy, which is really cool. I mean, that's the whole point is we want to be able to use everything we're you know making around here and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start thinking of plans for the Ender Quarry. I love to do it in the deep dark, but I was <laughs> looking at that thing. Um, I think it's actually one of the one of the things in Delta or no Gamma, uh, the deep dark portal right here to the core. I'll show you that in a second. I'm gonna just claim this and uh, get this loot chest. So the portal to the deep dark, it's a bit crazy. I need a piece of bedrock, four bedrock ingots, and four octuple compressed cobblestone. So I don't even know how to make bedrock actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need nine octuple, then four more octuple. So we need 13 plus a couple bedrock ingots which I think I do have actually, um, I've got two. Okay, so we need another one. So 13, let's go see how many we have. I actually haven't checked in a while and that would be kind of cool if we can make that right now. Um, I was gonna wrap it up. That was, I was actually leading into the wrap up. Oh, I'm going to the farm. Um, but if we can do one more thing really quick, then awesome. But I guess I haven't been down here in a while just because I've been concentrating so much. We have four. <laughs> Yeah, we're a long ways away. All right, but we've got a couple septuples, so it's going to get there. I need to kind of increase this and figure out a way to even uh, do more mass production on cobble. I mean, right now I've got freaking, what, uh, 4, 8, uh, 16, 24. I've got 24 cobblestone generators technically going, and it takes a while. If you guys know of a faster way to generate cobble, please let me know. That would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it because I, that seems like the fastest way to me with all the speed upgrades and world uh, interaction upgrades, but it just doesn't, doesn't put out a lot. I mean, it puts out a lot. Don't get me wrong. It's like 4 million per freaking uh, octuple cobblestone, but I think it could be more. All right. So let's do our loot chest and we'll finish up for today. Hopefully we get something, you know, shiny, spanky new, another tier three chance pendant. Another printing press and typesetting and diamond artifact armor and a fuel efficiency upgrade. Nothing too special. Water breathing, damage resistant, restore health after taking lethal damage. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I think today was pretty darn productive. We officially have traversed the moon. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Yes. And I will get going on all of the um, compressors so we can start getting ready to go to Mars because we've got plenty of that. We now have 16 of these, which is going to be actually be enough to make that rocket. So that could be the first thing we start doing is making the tier two rocket start of X episode. But for the time being, I think we're doing okay as is. Um, do you have fuel? I'm just wondering. Have you been filled? Yeah, so you filled up all good and stuff like that. Cool. So, yeah, so next episode, I think will be pretty close to going and I want to start a museum for all my rockets. I think that'd be kind of cool doing a little museum for all the rockets since we're going to constantly be upgrading. So, yes, 
Until next time, travelers, if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to continue to see more like it, please hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. I promise you, we're going to have a blast together. And other than that, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.